guys welcome back to another tutorial oh my goodness so in today's video i am so happy to share with you how to draft this whole top here right so if you want to know how to draft this whole top please make sure that you subscribe you like and then you share and also stay with me throughout this whole tutorial all right so in this tutorial you need your rule your curved rule your marker your scissors and then your tape measure of course so i have my whole body drafted here right from the neck from the shoulder sorry to the top length that i desire all right so i have this body drafted here and as you can see i've not added any um measurements to this yet so next is to add your nipple to nipple measurements to this all right so i'm going to be dividing the nipple to nipple measurements into two and i'm going to be marking transferring the nipple to nipple measurements on the bars the under bars the waist and the bottom part of the top right so once i am done with the dots right i'm going to be connecting this into a straight line okay so after that i'm going to be dividing my shoulder into two okay i'm going to find the midpoint and i'm going to be marking and then right after marking i'm going to connect this straight to my bust point line like that okay all right so after this the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to be taking my darts okay measurement from my under bars my waist and then the bottom part right so i'm going to be taking my darts right now okay because the bust area is not that big i'm just going to be taking the three quarter inches on both sides right and i'm going to transfer this also to the bottom part like that right so after that i'll just connect this into a straight line now to connect this to the bust line i am going to be coming down by one inches from the bust area and i'm going to connect this okay from that one inch point all right so you can choose to use a curved ruler or a straight rule all right it doesn't really change anything okay so after taking this amount of that i'm going to be doing the same thing to the bottom side so i'm going to be measuring my radius and i'm going to be using that as my upper chest line okay so i'm going to pick my protractor and then i am going to measure and then i'm going to transfer this right i'm going to transfer it up like that okay so i know it's not visible but i can see it so i'm just going to do the same thing with my uh, tape measure all right so i'm transferring the measurement onto that side so this is three inches all right so from my bust to my other bust is three inches all right so you can just go ahead and then do it this way if you don't have a protractor okay so the most important thing is the upper chest area this will be necessary if you are drafting a corset but because this is not a corset i'll just need my upper chest line all right so this is where the pencil fell in place but i am going to be increasing this by one inch more so that it doesn't my breast doesn't expose too much even though it did expose but this is a different tutorial because i lost footage of that one and so i'm making a different tutorial for you guys so i'm coming up by one inch and then it's going to be my chest line right so guys after marking this like that i'm going to be taking in my darts from my 
upper chest original upper chest line All right so i'm going to be taking three quarter inches on this side and also three quarter inches on this side All right so after that i'll just connect to my bust point line like that you can choose to come up by one inches from your bust area it is also good but in this case i just decided to do it this way okay because i do not really have a big bust like that okay so now the next thing is because this is not my chest line i'm going to be extending my dots okay to the chest line okay so that's my new chest line all right and or my upper bust line and this upper uh, under bust okay so the next is to just extend the dots right yes so after doing this like that i'm going to get my um sweetheart neckline out okay So after um, tracing out with my pencil, I have just decided to refine this by using my marker, okay. So because I'll be adding a bit of a sleeve to this, I'm going to be leaving this like that, okay. And I'm going to be coming down from my armhole line by just half an inch and I'm going to blend this out to blend my armhole right so i'll create my new armhole line okay so this is not part of the armhole line right and i'll also blend the sharp corner like that right so guys we are still in the process right so right now after we are done we are just going to transfer our our measurements okay like that right so i'm just going to mark my quarter of my bass measurement right and i'm going to be adding the two inches that i took out from there okay so the next thing is to mark quarter of my waist measurement and then i'm going to be adding two inches that i took out for the dart also in addition to no this is um one and a half inches rather it's not two inches one and a half inches so that is it right so from there i'm just going to connect okay from my chest line or my armhole line okay to my waist line okay so now the next thing is we are going to be creating that arc shape around the waist area okay so i've come down by two inches all right and also right after the dots i am coming out by two inches and i'm going to be connecting this into a straight line okay so guys i hope you are following this if you don't understand anything just go back and then rewatch the video you understand so i'm just connecting from my two inches mark that i've made to my waist line right and i'm also going to connect from that two inches all right to this so I, it's more like a drawing a diagonal line right so i'm going to connect it using a dotted line all right so from this i'm now going to be creating my curve all right for the side all right so this is where we'll be inserting our flare all right so i'll use a pencil to sketch the kind of shape i want out before i move in with my marker all right so i'll be refining this with my marker later but I just wanted a perfect curve before I do that, okay? So now I'm very 
very satisfied with the curve I've created. Alright, so I'm going to go in with my marker to refine my curve to make it bold. Right? Yeah. So I'll connect this with my straight line. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure that you subscribe at this point because I have lots of exciting videos for you guys. Alright? So make sure that you subscribe and then you give me that thumbs up and also don't forget to leave your comments all right so once you are done with the curve make sure you take note of the length all right so i've just gone ahead to measure this and then take a note of the length if you'd forget just um write the length like i have done okay so this is going to be cut on fold this side is going to be cut on fold and this side is going to be cut times two okay okay so guys um don't forget to add your seam allowances all around okay so i'm going to add my seam allowances all around And then after this, just go ahead and then cut this out, okay? So I'll go ahead and add my bottom allowance to this as well. to continue with the cutting because i'm done with the adding of the allowance and also don't forget to smoothen out your pointy edges all right so make sure you smoothen out anything pointy around your bustier okay so what i am going to do is i am going to blend this right to fit in so that anytime i want to join this together I don't face problems so I don't get pointy and unnecessary edges anywhere All right so this is the back and we are going to be adding our seam allowances when we are cutting to join the two panels together okay so now we have moved to the back drafting All right so it's basically the same thing as I did for the front all right so I'm going to quickly come up by extending my chest line by four inches all right because it was three inches and I added one inch okay so after extending this all right just like that we have created our new chest line for the back now I'm going to come in by one inch okay to create my depth the depth of my back all right so after that i'm just going to come down for my armhole by half an inch so it's basically the same thing we are doing right to the back i'm going to go ahead and transfer quarter of my bust on my armhole line like that and also for my waist all right so first of all i'm going to because i'm going to be dividing this bodice into two so i'm going to extend my nipple to nipple measurement also onto my chest line and then the next thing is i'm going to be marking cut off my waist plus the that i've taken out okay next is to connect this all right to your bust line and add your seam allowances to this as well all right so like we came down by two inches i'm just going to be doing the same thing to the back okay so the 
this is also two inches from the dart all right so it's basically the same thing with my pencil i am just going to connect this like that okay so right after i'm satisfied with this i'm just going to connect this and then start bringing out my curve right you can go ahead and trace off your front or you can bring out a new curve it doesn't really matter it doesn't have to be the same thing right but it needs to be in the same dimension like in the same shape okay so after i'm satisfied with the curve i'm going to go ahead and refine this with my marker like i am doing okay to add the bottom allowance and extend the dots as well so now that i'm done i just went ahead to add all my seam allowances to this okay and cut it out so you're basically done with the back and on the front bodies all right so we quickly 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 not quickly quickly move to our flag <laughs> all right so guys please subscribe to the channel because it's not easy it's not not at all and five inches all right to join the panels together and also if you need a yoke just cut this out like i'm doing for the yoke all right so you can add as much as 1.5 1 inches or 0 0.5 inches just to join the yoke to the bodice okay <music> So it's now time to draft the side flare okay so I have my paper folded into four okay and the shape is a rectangle it means one side is longer than the other so I'll just go ahead and label this as a and B okay so side B is three inches longer than side a and side a is three inches shorter than side B okay Right after that you just go ahead and measure what you have here and in my case it was 7.25 inches and i'm going to be adding 17.25 inches all right it's a measurement that i derived myself so it's going to be 25 inches in total and with the 25 inches to cut a full circle you need to divide your circumference by 6.28 so that is what i have done right now and I got four inches, so I'm marking that for my radius. All right, so after making your radius like this, mind you, here is seven inches, and here is ten inches, like I said previously. So, in this case, I was short of paper, okay, and so I needed seven inches, all right, in full length, but I ended up getting six inches. Don't worry, just mark your six inches like that okay and after marking the six inches i'm going to transfer the same six inches to this side okay and i'm going to blend it and then the next thing i'm going to do is i am going to it is not possible to mark okay so because of the kind of flare that i want that is why i am going to pick out the side and blend it all right to meet my six inches markings are where i stopped okay so i'm just going to go ahead and refine this with my marker all right so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to make the tip around this area more rounded because it didn't feel too round to me so i'm just going to make that more rounded like that all right so after this i'm just going to cut this out <laughs> After cutting this out, I'm just going to start the slashing and the spreading. Alright, so right from here, I'm going to mark 2 inches like that. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so after that, I'm just going to measure half an inch 
all the way through and I am going to slash this after marking. Alright, so don't mind me if I keep marking half an inch without using the tape measure. I know half inch by, should I say a heart? <laughs> okay, so the next thing is just to connect this lines that we have done right so just mark it reasonably right make sure you are following the straight path make sure one is not getting into the other right so just like that keep marking and after marking this i'm going to slash this so make sure it's close enough right very close enough so press this down hold it down and then keep slashing the rest okay so after slashing i'll get myself a new fresh paper all right and we are going to be putting this on it like that okay so first of all i'm just going to pin this down all right and then i'm going to spread at one inch interval all right or you can just go ahead and then spread it reasonably okay so it's either you spread it reasonably or at one inch interval okay it could be one inches or less so after spreading this and pinning it down i'm just going to make sure that my edges are straight because after slashing and spreading i realized that a, a particular part is shorter than the other so i'm just going ahead to blend the longer part together all right so after blending this i'm going to refine this well with my marker so make sure that you trace out your shape very well and also we are going to be tracing now the part that will be joining to our sides okay so that is the side that i'm currently tracing out and i'm also adding half an inch all the way through because my length was not up to okay so i'm just going to go ahead and add half an inch all right so this will be six and a half inches in total now and then when i am cutting on the main fabric i'll add my sewing allowance to it okay so right after you're done with that just go ahead and then remove your pins and take the pattern out so you're just going to cut this out like that okay so right now that we are done this is how it looks and this is going to be a perfect fit for the side panel yes, i lost footages of the main or like the one i was wearing okay so i had to do a different one with this material over here and it looks beautiful as well so make sure that you subscribe turn on your notification bell like and then share and i'm going to see you in the sewing tutorial bye bye